So guys, in this video, you will see me decorate my kids' beds, clean up the room, clean up their closet, vacuum, etc. This video is super short because it wasn't much to show. Y'all know how it looks when you clean up the room. So right here, I am vacuuming, trying to get the floor a little clean before I start doing everything else because I just don't like a messy floor, y'all. So y'all gonna see the difference between how y'all just saw it and when I'm done with the finished product. So right here, I'm picking up the cotton off the floor because as y'all know, Messiah loves sucking his thumb and playing with cotton. And I could not vacuum that up in the vacuum. So, yeah, and y'all know I had to blast my music, period, because I was hyping myself up. And here's me doing a little dance break. I didn't feel well, so I was trying to pipe myself up to clean this room because it was a hassle, y'all. A hassle. So, first, I'm starting off with Messiah's bed. Y'all know he loves dinosaurs. He loves Jurassic Park. So, this is me looking at all of the items that each comforter set came with. So, I'm going to go ahead and take all of the items out of the pack, as y'all can see. And I'm giving y'all a little preview of how it looks. That's the fitted sheet. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the fitted sheet on the bed first. Y'all already know that's the first step. So, quick little backstory, y'all. This bed, y'all. This bed. I saw this bed months ago before I ordered it. I've always wanted my kids to have a bunk bed that has three beds because they share a room for now. Um, and this bed was very, very expensive, y'all. So when I first picked it out, I had no idea. I did not think about the fact that this bed was gonna be so big and take up so much of their room. Also, the brown pieces of furniture that you see, the dressers that you see, I'm either gonna get rid of them or I'm going to spray paint them the same color as their beds. Not sure, but I'll take y'all along for that journey as well. So here's Messiah's bed. Messiah is my five-year-old. He is the youngest. I'm finished with his bed for the most part. I just have to put the pillows up there. So here's a picture of the entire set with the pillows, the comforters, and the fitted sheets and all of that. Now I'm moving on to Kimari's bed. So Kimari likes Ninja Turtles. And as y'all can see, I tried to do like a little transition so y'all didn't have to sit there and watch me do his bed. It came out so cute, guys. And I love the colors of it. So here's a view of Messiah's bed and Kimari's bed. Next on to my daughter's bed. She has LOL doll surprise. So I had to take a break to get myself together, but now you see me doing my daughter's bed. Her bed didn't take that long because by now I was just ready to be done. So I did it a lot more faster. Um, like I said, this video isn't that long because it's pretty self-explanatory. But again, this is me making my daughter's bed. Her bed was a little bit more difficult even though I did it fast because hers was at the top. It was hard to tuck the blankets exactly how I wanted to. Actually, all of them were kind of hard to tuck just being that the way that the bed is made. And again, I didn't think about any of this before I ordered this bed. Even if I did, I probably would have still ordered it just because it's the bed that I wanted, y'all. Also, it wasn't even that expensive. I'm going to try to find a screenshot of where I got it from and how much it costs, and I'm going to try to put it in the video right here. But yes, guys, I'm finally, finally done with her bed. Here's a view of it. It came out so cute. All of their beds came out cute exactly how I wanted them. Now I just got to work on like their rugs, their curtains, and getting rid of this furniture or seeing what I'm going to do with this furniture. So here's a montage view of the room after I'm finished. And like I said, the brown furniture, the wooden furniture, I'm either going to give it away or I'm going to spray paint it the same color as their bed. So again, this is Messiah's bed, Jurassic Park. That's what he loves. And then here's Kimari's bed, Ninja Turtles, which is what he loves. And they all also have the same amount of pillows. I ordered them two pillows a piece, which were also inexpensive. I'll see if I can pin a picture of that as well right here. If not, y'all already know pillows are not that expensive anyways. So here's Maya's bed. I tried to give y'all the best view that I could. I know it's kind of horrible, but y'all just bear with me. Soon I'll be getting a camera with better quality and all of that, y'all. So again, right here, I'm finally finished. I'm trying to give y'all a better view so y'all can see it from my point of view because it came out so good. The camera didn't even do it justice, y'all. And I chose to do three different themes because I wanted their room to be colorful. So when I get the rug and the curtains, y'all will see the outcome. So now I'm about to go and call my kids upstairs so that way they can see the finished product, y'all. 
I would love to say that they waited patiently, but no, they were rushing me. So here they are. They're coming up the stairs. I went in the room and I closed the door and I let them knock before I showed them how the room looked. They were trying to push through y'all. Everybody wanted to be the first one to get through the door. So here we go, guys. So like I said, I went in the room and I let them knock on the door and then I opened it. So here we go, guys. This is me about to let them in in three, two, one. Y'all, they were so freaking excited. They were so happy. I'm sorry that I couldn't get the sound of their excitement, but y'all could see the look on their faces. They couldn't wait to come into their rooms. They had been sleeping with me for the longest, so now it's time for them to sleep in their own beds, y'all. And I had to get them adjusted to sleeping in their own beds because in the beginning, they would just sneak back into my room while I was asleep and get in the bed with me. My youngest son does it way more than the other two, but my middle child also does it too. But mostly Messiah, my youngest, he does not like sleeping in his bed for real. He don't like sleeping without me he is a true mama's boy and i'm trying to break him out of that honestly and my brother and my mom they don't like it because they feel like i spoil him way too much but i can't help it that's my baby like that's my youngin that's my jit you feel me so right here this is mario hugging me he's saying thank you he's so excited he couldn't wait to get in his bed he loves it they love it and i'm just happy for them that they finally get their own room their own space to do whatever it is that they want to do y'all for real for real they don't even sleep in their room they use it as a playroom more than anything but that's the end of this video, guys. Also, the end of my 12 days of Vlogmas. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Love you, gang. See you in the next one. Bye.